dear brothers and sisters in christ jesus before we conclude the short reflections on the rule let me try to tell you something about the need of a spiritual assistant previously the post was termed as spiritual director but the current rule states it to be spiritual assistant by which we mean to say that the person who involves in assisting the secular franciscan in their pastoral and spiritual needs this is in line with the code of canon law of the latin church cic in its number 303 talks about altris modramen by which we mean to say that any secular order or institute or association belonging to a particular group that is a particular order which has a religious component to it this religious members are assigned the duty to safeguard the secular members of the same order by which the first order members ofm ofm cap and ofm conventuals along with the third order regular members are given the duty of taking care of the pastoral and spiritual needs of the secular franciscan community by any chance or due to some reason or other if the members of the first order or tor are not available the parish priest may be assigned the duty if not a sister from a religious community may be given if the above things are not feasible a lay person himself may be assigned the duty of spiritual assistance so the act of having a spiritual assistance from the first order is mandatory and is in definite congruence with the religious activities of the code of canon law the first part of the rule is basically the first version of the letter to the faithful this was found out by a protestant pastor paul sabathia in the year 1900 from volterra a place in italy from the codex 225 and it was he who brought this into light for a long period this was not regarded to be part of the critical edition the omnibus didn't have it when it was published first later after 1970 when 
Father Kajitan Esar, a renowned Franciscan scholar, brought about the critical edition. He included the first version of the letter to the faithful. The possibility is that the first version was written to a particular set of religious members who are already aware of Francis and who are following a life of penance. The other main factor about it is this first version of the letter to the faithful was added into the rule along with the 26 parts of the rule by the major superiors of first order and TOA. The last part of the rule states and whoever shall keep these words may he or she be filled in heaven with the blessings of the Most High Father and on earth with the blessings of His beloved Son together with that of the Holy Spirit, the Paraclete. This blessing is taken from the testament of Francis of Assisi. This ends our short discussion on the Pauline rule of the secular Franciscan order. I thank everybody. This will be recordings will be available and can be used by anyone for the betterment of the order as such. I am Dr. Jerry Joseph, National Vice Minister, Secular Franciscan Order, India. Thank you.